जय श्री माता जी ध्यान सत्र में आप सभी का स्वागत है चित्त को सहस्त्रार पर रखते हुए हम बंधन लेंगे तीन महामंत्र एवं श्री गणेश मंत्र
धीरे से चित्त को सहस्त्रार पर ले जाएंगे थोड़ी देर ध्यान की इसी अवस्था में बैठेंगे ध्यान की इसी अवस्था में श्री माता जी की अमृतवाणी ग्रहण करेंगे टुडे इज द happiest day for all of you for the whole universe because shri ganesha was created he was created to emit auspiciousness through his chaitanya first the whole cosmos was filled with this chaitanya srishti then brahma deva came into play and he created all the matter but the greatest blessings of the divine power was to symbolize chaitanya and this chaitanya has many aspects <coughs> but specially in sri ganesha it is auspiciousness in these modern times people have lost the sense of auspiciousness everything that emits us vibrations chaitanya is auspicious is shubh and whatever does not is not 
by any chance auspicious. So first of all, whatever you worship, whatever you accept, all of them have to be auspicious things. Every shape has a coefficient and all these shapes which you see <coughs> not necessarily give vibrations. But in the human beings also we find there are many people like you who have Chaitanya flowing in them. But this Chaitanya, when it flows, we just take Sri Ganesha for granted. <clears throat> we do not understand that we have to awaken Sri Ganesha within us, means what? What we have to do? There is Sri Ganesha already existing in you, and as I said, that innocence cannot be lost. So Sri Ganesha is eternal being, eternal child, he cannot be lost and he cannot be destroyed. So he is all the time there. Maybe some clouds of your ill-doings are covering the great personality of innocence. But it is always there present. <coughs> So now, what should we do to keep this Ganesha all the time shining within us is to first remember that you were made in the same pattern as Sri Ganesha. But his Kundalini is on his stomach. His pure desire is on his stomach. It's very significant to understand why it is there that his Kundalini is on his stomach. That means he does not have to conquer the temptations of Muladhara at all. But he has his Kundalini on his stomach. That means he is also beyond the temptations of food, of power or anything, because his stomach represents absolute abandonment, absolute freedom. He is not bothered as to how he looks, that these days there's a big fashion that you cannot have a big belly. I mean, this is becoming a big, not only fashion, but a big business. But as age grows, you have to have. Even small children have that, and they look so sweet. Those people who are very thin must understand that they might be getting some prizes in the maybe beauty contest or something. But they do not have that majesty, that royalty, that dignity in them as they should have. So Sri Ganesha accepts everything. He has a head with a trunk. He accepts it. <clears throat> of course, it's important, he should have that, because head of the elephant suggests that he's not like a human being who develops ego, super-ego conditionings, but he is just all the time one with the Divine. He accepts his body, he accepts his head, he accepts his ears, he accepts everything that he's made of. He doesn't aspire to something. Some entrepreneurs put some ideas and he, does, he won't go run after them. He won't try to change himself. He won't try to create that fashion and all that. He is what he is. Because he is a satisfied soul. 
the kundalini on the stomach shows a complete self-contented satisfied personality of Sri Ganesha. When you have all the powers within you, you know you are powerful, then you don't hanker after all these things. And you don't try to make a position or an impression of others. For example, you would never go <coughs> and read books like how to impress people. Very common. So now as you are created in the same image of Sri Ganesh, you have to understand that you have to accept whatever God has given you, whatever position He has given you. Same with Christ. Christ accepted His Father who was just a carpenter. He didn't aspire for something higher or some sort of a special position or a power because He was so powerful, what more power can He have? Though people mocked at him and laughed at him and could not accept what he was saying. But still, he was self-contented, self-satisfied. He knew what it was. So for a Sahaja Yogi, <coughs> the first thing is to be self-contented. As I told you, the fundamentals of the Western life is to see and to be seen. Both things were missing completely in the incarnation of Sri Ganesh. So when I say these things, suddenly people start thinking, let us become hippies or let them become punks. Let us become this, let us become that. You don't have to become anything, whatever you have, your body, your face, your hair, everything is there, just meant for you. You don't have to change anything outwardly, because inside, is complete Chaitanya. Sri Ganesha never tried to change himself, though there were so many clouds on his being, though many people insulted him, tortured him, hanged him, crucified him, Still the eternal being didn't bother. So the first and foremost thing for a Sahaja Yogi is to accept. Go on accepting things. But when I say accept, I must say the other side also. That doesn't mean you start accepting boots, all the bad qualities of others. Mother, you said you must accept, so they start accepting all these bad qualities. What's wrong? You have said it already. Whatever I say has another side, always. Like I said, now you have become your own guru, so why should we listen to anybody else? Like this, see, we go on diverting ourselves, deviating ourselves from reality just to cheat ourselves. And this comes because we have no wisdom. We have no wisdom because we do not know what is for our benevolence, what is for our good, what we should do for our good, and even if we know, we don't want to do it. So what we lack is wisdom. It's a vicious circle, I must say, that Ganesha is to be awakened, 
to give you wisdom, he is the giver of wisdom. He is the giver of wisdom. And he has to give you the wisdom, he is to be awakened. But you are not wise because he is not awakened. It's a very vicious circle. How to make this vicious circle break? That let my wisdom shine in my attention. Let Sri Ganesha throw his light in my attention. Mentally, you people are very alert, no doubt. And you can always cheat yourself nicely. That's the point where you could see yourself, introspection, which I have seen among Russians. Just introspect, why do I do like that? Why cannot I meditate? Am I going to miss out? Why cannot not do something that is good for me? Introspection is the only way you can see yourself how far you are from Sri Ganesh. Even I've seen when I say something in general, people always, the mind is very clever, thinks that I'm talking about somebody else, not about them. It's a convex mind, convex, which never receives anything inside itself, because there is no wisdom. If you are wise, then not only that you'll accept, but you'll understand and it will penetrate into your attention through your central nervous system. You just know that this is it. Now, you know that. This, if you put your hand towards this candle, you, your fingers might burn. You know it definitely with experience. And you won't do that. With experience you have learned not to put ha your hand on to the candle. And this wisdom is there, I don't have to tell you that. But this is a new life you have started, a spiritual life. When you are going into the spiritual life, try to remember your experiences. One after another, how you got transformed, how you changed, how many the bad things that you had disappeared gradually and how you have become so nice. This will take away your depression to begin with. Then you should think that, what do I have to do further? Am I really wise or I am stupid? There are lots of stages between absolute stupidity and absolute wisdom. And you see all those shades all over and combinations and permutations of these I see every day. And I am surprised that after getting your Self-realization, when Sri Ganesha is shining in your attention, you should see your reflection clearly and try to correct it. Only this much wisdom if you have, that I have to work out my benevolence, you will do it. I know of somebody could never get up in the morning, say for example. But one day I saw him ready at about six o'clock in the morning, I was surprised how this gentleman who has no self-discipline has suddenly get up, got up at six o'clock and ready to go somewhere. I said, where are you going? You don't know? I said, what? 
I have got a job now and I have to be present by eight o'clock and it will take two hours to reach that place. Also I'm keeping some margin, so I have to leave now, I can't talk to you one. Quite alert, awake. Now, what is the thing is, as far as money is concerned, lot of wisdom is there. Don't have to tell them, that is automatically. Money wisdom is quite a lot. Job wisdom is quite a lot. Because these things means prestige in the society, this means security in the society. So this kind of business you find in many people and in some even that is missing. They don't even understand that they have to earn their living, but that's the minimum. You cannot be parasite. Then the second stage, as I said, by many stages is this, that we are not for money, money is for us. The attention, if it is on your spirit, on the Ganesha principle, then whole situation will change. Your priorities will change and suddenly people will say, Mother, what has happened to this gentleman? He was a stupid fool, now he's become such a wise person. So to awaken Sri Ganesha, you should have minimum wisdom already there. I mean, even if that is not there, how can you work it out? It's not meant for stupid people, mood has, not meant for mood. So now what is our benevolence? Let us see. Is it money? No. Those who have money don't seem to be very happy people always. Then what is the next? Is jobs, those who have jobs, all right, should have jobs. I'm not saying you should be jobless. I mean, immediately the another side they'll take. I mean, so quick, you know. That mother is saying we can be jobless, you see, nice. <laughs> Immediate escapes. Now then the power. We want to have political power, the social power, this power, that power, is absolutely a joyless pursuit. You go and see those people who are supposed to be powerful, so-called, halfway they are towards self, one foot there and one foot here and about to be gulped down by the crocodiles. You can see it clearly, especially in this Kali Yuga, it's so obvious, so clear-cut. We don't want to be like them, we want to be like Sri Ganesh. So once you start accepting your circumstances, accepting your body, your accepting your face, everything, you will see that lot of time will be saved. Another problem that faces us is planning. And that is missing in Sri Ganesha completely. He did not do any planning whatsoever. I wish he had done some planning, things would have been much better. (laughs) 
He doesn't believe in planning because he's so powerful. Whatever he wants, he can get it done. You want the sun, all right, the sun is there. You want the moon, moon is there. You want the stars, stars is there. The dust of his feet can create the whole universe. Universe is after universe. For such a person, there is no need to be planning everything because whatever he wants happens. But why? Why it happens? Why he has this power? Because he is in that state. Are you in that state? You have not achieved that state. You talk somebody, tell somebody that, oh my, I have to go and catch the plane. There are ten people standing next to you, they'll all get panicky. Now I have to go and they are bothered. Something sort of goes off their heads, I don't know what goes, they go amok. I never tell them like that, I say, there's still time for the plane to go. And don't worry, the, when I reach there, then the plane will leave, so you don't worry. But because <coughs> of this kind of a presumptions and the planning system of the mind, you just think that now I have a plan to go today, I must go. Why? I won't go. I may decide at the last minute I don't want to go, I'll make the plane go away. We did that many a times, you know very well. I wanted to buy the Rome ashram, so I saw to it that the plane never arrived. But you have to be in that state. Especially buying this Kabila, you know what happened. There were five great intellectuals on my head sitting. I didn't know how I'll manage these five intellectuals with all their planning, this, that, they made me run up and down, do this and that. Ultimately, <laughs> they all had to come in. But I was telling them, go and have a look, nobody would look at it, nobody would listen to me, nobody wanted to know about it. How things work out is your pure desire that can work out anything that you want. But you won't want funny things also. Like Sri Ganesha would not like to follow some entrepreneur who is saying, have a punk on your head or something. It's stupidity, all kinds of stupidities. Because we are stupid, these entrepreneurs are having a good time. They can be foolish all the time. At his state, he is himself on top of the pure desire. The pure desire is on his stomach, tied up nicely. It is to be seen in Sahaja Yoga how things work out, how miraculously they work out. And these can happen to you also. All these powers can come to you also. You know about some people who came to us who didn't know even how to sing, I mean they had no voices, something very funny they had, I mean I didn't know <laughs> from where they learned to even talk. 
when they opened their mouths, if you were at one note, they were on another note, and they were on and on and on, without even listening to what they were singing. After some time, I find they are singing beautifully. So the Kundalini itself is working it out, the pure desire is working it out for you. But what about you? What are you doing about it? It's to be seen. There are so many things that could be understood very easily through the life, style of Sri Ganesha. The first and foremost thing for him is to obey his mother, never to say, no, no question, and also not to ask why. He will go and fight with all the gods and goddesses and everyone. And that's what Christ has said. Anything against me I have tolerated, but nothing against the Holy Ghost. There should be no question. There should be no explanation. Sometimes even my patience goes out the way they do not want to accept what I am telling them. At the end, of course, they all come round, no doubt, at the end. But you waste so much time convincing them. What is the reason? They have no wisdom to know what their mother is. Like you know the story of Sri Ganesha, that his mother said, the one who goes round the Mother Earth, I will give you a present. So Ganesha again accepts a little mouse as a transport, imagine. Nowadays people can't believe it, that Sri Ganesha, so powerful, should accept just a mouse for his transport, because he's so humble. He doesn't have to show off his Lincoln or Mercedes to anyone. <laughs> he's very comfortable with his mouse. Now what does he do? He thinks that, he understands in no time that his mother is much greater than the Mother Earth. So why should I go around the Mother Earth? His brother is going around on a peacock. He just goes around his mother, he gets the present. It's such a simple thing to understand because he is the wisest person. The wisest person knows what is what. He knows who is who. He knows what are the qualities of these persons? He is not impressed by superficial things, no. If somebody is well dressed, then people get very much impressed by them and they turn out to be bank robbers, walking with umbrellas and lined suits as if some big executives are coming and they decamp with all the loot. So for a wise person the superficial behavior doesn't appeal, not bother.
It is a kind of a very penetrating intelligence, just like a computer, you know. In a second you know that what is this gentleman, oh, he may come with a great to see a door and he might come and praise you and do this and do that and you know the person very well. If somebody is unduly very friendly, very kind, very nice, not necessarily that he is really appreciating you, but he is looking at your purse maybe, maybe something else. But not only on this level, it is even on a spiritual level we have to understand how people try to put you down spiritually. What they try, what tricks they try on you. It could be your husband, your wife, your children, your relations, your friends, anybody, any surgeon. But in the case of Sri Ganesha, it's the other way round. They say that if you put one apple, bad apple, all the apples get spoiled. But if you put Sri Ganesha among all the bad apples, they'll get all right. Because he's the life giving force. This is one of the greatest qualities that he knows that he's the source of life and he gives life, he gives Chaitanya. He doesn't say, think that now, supposing I give Chaitanya, give life to this person, my ego will come up. Very common problem. Mother, I don't want to do it because my ego will come up. Everybody is psychoanalyzing themselves. Because this will happen, Baba, you are all realized souls now. You are all saints. The false people are talking so big and you, the people who have got something, are still thinking, my ego will come up, this will happen. No, no, you have the box. But as you keep it under a major, as Christ has said, the light will go out. You have to give it to others. You have to open it up. And that is how you will judge your state. What is my state? Let's see, where am I? That confidence, take it from me, should be with you. All of you have to work out this way. Very many, Mother, my Muladhara has got up. How dare! Anybody catch Muladhar? That's the anger of Sri Ganesha. How dare? How can anybody do that? What's missing is complete faith in yourself and faith in your mother. In Russia recently, uh, in Prague, there was a lady who was brought on the stage very old lady, she couldn't walk, I mean, they just, just carried her. And she came and sat before me on a chair. She said, I know you, 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 I'll be cured. I'm in your presence, I know I will be cured. I said, then get up. She got up. Those who are with me in Prague, you can ask them. She came down and she started running. And everybody laughed. But her faith, she was not a Sajogini as such, but she was sure she knew me. And she just started running like that and everybody started 
looking at her. Same thing happened in Russia for many people. Very serious diseases. So that one thing is for sure, either you don't know that you are realized souls or else you don't know Me, one of the two things. Why was He so obedient to His Mother? Why was He? Because that was the wisest thing to do. The one who knows everything is better to be guided by that person. And many a times I have seen people try to do things without telling Me, important things, they fall into traps. Then they come back to Me, uh, I tell them the solution, it works. It's not necessary that you should tell Me everything, but when you are in a fix, you can always just go into yourself and ask yourself, what would Mother do? You'll get the answer. You are at a quite a higher state, but still, even if you are on a tree and you are still thinking you are falling down, you are nowhere. Steady yourself. That's what is, we say, the Adhishthan of Sri Ganesha, is the steadiness steadiness in your achievements of such believing in yourself that you have entered into the new world, into the new atmosphere, to work it out. Sri Ganesha is just waiting. But He is not meant for people who have no courage a courageous man who could go and fight with all the devas. Because he knew the Shakti was with him. Today is such a joyous day for Me because we have children and we are dealing with children. Most of them are born realized. They are of a very special category, I have told you many a times, but we spoil them because we were not born realized. So we don't know how to handle these special children, we spoil them. Not only we spoil them, but we interfere with the school, we interfere with this as if we are the wisest parents ever. Because we are Sahaja Yogis, we have to be much more sensible than other parents. How can you interfere with any school anywhere? But in Sahaja Yoga you will. It is because there is no wisdom and no understanding what is good and benevolent for your child. If you love your child, then you must think of its benevolent. You must learn from the experience what happens to children if they are left like that. You cannot spoil your child, you cannot, because it's a special category of children there. They are not children who can uh, become vagabonds, they cannot become thieves. So you'll make them something funny, they are neither here nor there. They are born realized and they have to be channelized properly to achieve their complete manifestation of their spirit. So the possessiveness and the stupid attachments to children must be given up 
There is no force on you. If you want to destroy a child, you can destroy. But it has advice. If you are Ganeshas, you would have understood it. I don't have to explain so much. What is good for your child? Because we have to have beautiful children. They are born beautiful children, I tell you. If they are spoiled, it is because of you. You have spoiled them. You have ruined them. You are responsible. I know of so many children. They are very, very sweet. I have conference with them also. And I find them much more congenial. I have much better report with them than I can have with you. They never argue. Never. They never say no. And they have very good information about all of you. So it is such a nice thing that today we should desire that our children should very soon become the images of Sri Ganesha, His ganas who have to work out so much. It's a tremendous task. Sahaja Yoga is the greatest achievement of spiritual evolution. We all have to dedicate ourselves. You don't have to sacrifice anything as the saints have sacrificed, nothing. You don't have to suffer anything. Only thing you have to have wisdom. For that, I'm very happy that today we are worshipping Sri Ganesha. So the pure desire should be that, Sri Ganesha, please give us divine wisdom, that's all. It contains everything in it. May God bless you. थोड़ी देर ध्यान की इसी अवस्था में निशब्द ध्यान में बैठेंगे जय श्री माता जी दोनों हाथ जोड़कर चित्त को सहस्त्रार पर रखकर श्री माता जी से प्रार्थना करेंगे श्री माता जी आज आपने हमें सामूहिक ध्यान का आनंद दिया निर्विचारिता प्रदान की हमें चैतन्य की अनुभूति दी इसके लिए हम आपके ऋणी हैं आज का यह ध्यान हम आपके चरणों पर समर्पित करते हैं श्री माता जी सत्य की खोज करने वाले सभी साधकों को उनका आत्मसाक्षात्कार प्राप्त हो 
सारे सहजी भाई बहनों को माध्यम स्वरूप कार्य करने की अनुमति प्राप्त करें अनुमति प्रदान कीजिए श्री माता जी अमृतवाणी में दिया हुआ ज्ञान हमें हमारे जीवन में हर क्षण आचरण में लाने के आशीर्वाद हमें प्रदान कीजिए श्री माता जी आपने हमें आत्म परीक्षण करना सिखाया हमें आत्मा बनाया हमें क्षमाशील बनाया इसलिए हम आपके ऋणी हैं श्री माता जी कृपा करके हमें करुणामय बना दीजिए हमें भोलापन प्रदान कीजिए हमें निर्लिप्तता प्रदान कीजिए हमारी सारी प्रार्थनाओं का स्वीकार कीजिए हम सभी सहजी भाई बहनों के कोटि कोटि प्रणाम कृपा करके स्वीकार कीजिए जय श्री माता जी सामूहिक बंधन श्री माता जी